the BBC is funded by you, <laughs> the licence fee payer. It's your BBC. It's all your fault. <laughs> Stay with me as I reveal secrets plucked from these bulging shelves deep beneath the concrete donut. Moments to remember. It's the stars of EastEnders, Bally Kiss Angel, Can't Cook, Won't Cook, and countless other shows hoped had been forgotten down here in the subterranean gloom. With the light so dim, Gabby Roslin could pass for 40. <laughs> As we rifle through Auntie's bloomers, let's start with the kiddies. Bless them. Out there, as I speak, are the heirs to the tradition set by John Noakes and Lulu the Elephant. <laughs> so if they're sitting uncomfortably, then I'll begin. Well, uh, great show. We'll be back on Wednesday, which is tomorrow, and so will I. Yes, with this little lot, I've got uh, Johnny Briggs for you, also Just William, and I'm going to be reading... <laughs> you don't have to be perfect. Now, once you've done that with all of your animals, the next thing you need to do is allow it to dry, like this one here, and peel it off. There we go. Now, to make sure you can definitely see it once you turn your light on, I'm going to highlight it. <laughs> Where's it gone? <laughs> Sorry you didn't get the job. What? Did you have to my push? Send me so here again. It could have been for me. Oh! <laughs> Time for a couple more cards. Oops, look, it's the Teletubbies. Uh -oh. yep, it's windy out here, maybe I'll... <laughs> <laughs> Mark, Mark, um, I was wondering if you could take the lid off that for me, please. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> oh, is it a bit stuck? No, no, it's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gotta warm up a bit, that's all. <laughs> yeah, limber up. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. All you did is pick at and now this. Why am I still living by myself? I'm not surprised because no one could pair up with you even if they're desperate. Where are you going? From now on, I'm relying on no one except myself. <laughs> Where are you going? From now on, I'm relying on no one except myself. <laughs> Okay, now hold this, hold this. Oh, this oh, is the oh, balloon, oh, which I'm going to be using for the trick. Yes, yeah. happy yeah, with that? Yeah, have a look at it. And I'm going to be using this uh, needle as well. Ooh. It's very, very sharp. Yes, be careful with okay. needles. Yeah. Don't play with needles, girls. Don't play okay. with needles whatsoever. All right, then, carry on. Oh, 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 just hurt myself a bit. Yes. That's how careful you've got to be. Right, Gio. Now, I'm going to get this and just blow it up. Do you want to blow it up, or shall I? No, you blow it okay. up. There, there it go. goes. <sighs> Be careful, don't get too puffed out, because you've got to introduce Blue Peter in a minute. You're right, yeah. Yes, OK, carry on. <laughs> I was a bit puffed on. out. Right, I'm going to tie it up, and you're going to hold it. Right. Which means that I get to hold the needle. OK. Yeah, and yeah, uh, okay. that means I'm going to push the needle through the balloon. Right. Needle what? balloon? Yeah. But you make a pop. Hold, hold that, hold that. Hold I can't, I can't. Uh, oh, no, of course it won't go. OK, I've got to have a magician. Of course it's not. Uh, now, here is the needle. Uh, Watch it very carefully. Uh, What's wrong? Uh, I'm making scared noises because I'm a little bit scared in case you could pop in my ear. <laughs> okay, carry on making scared noises. Because we're just gonna <laughs> Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna get the needle and very carefully, watch it very carefully. Ah, no, you shake the balloon, I'm gonna get the <laughs> Hey? Uh, we can actually put it uh, right through the balloon. The reason why uh, the balloon is transparent is so that you can actually see the needle right the way through there. And we can actually push it out. Uh, Mind your hand over. Oh, 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 Live TV! You can't help it! Come back to the Oh, dear me! The battles of the First World War dragged on for months at a time. Both sides rarely gaining more than a few metres of this nomad muddy. <laughs> Television, television, there are easy jobs, like costume designer for Sister Wendy. <laughs> Some like this one, incredibly difficult. <laughs> Hardest job of all is making people laugh. I've never even tried it. <laughs> if you saw the interval act when we staged Eurovision, you'll know the corporation's capacity to produce top-notch humour is undiminished. <laughs> <laughs> At the BBC, comedy is something we take rather seriously. 
It's all right for you. What do you mean? I see you've got two weeks' holiday coming up. Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> yes. Ooh, who's at home to Mr. Techie then? Anyway, I'm in Dundee because I've had another letter asking me to sort out a fashion crisis. <laughs> I feel like Jimmy Saddle. Uh, Saddle. <laughs> <laughs> How's it happens? My name is Jimmy Saddle. How's it happens? <laughs> Yo, yo, Len, I'm receiving you very loud and very clear. And what is clear is that suit is very loud. <laughs> Watch this face. If that sees anybody gorgeous, it'll be me. <laughs> Joan of Arc didn't have a placard, she had a banner. Actually, a placard's better. It doesn't wave about in the wind so much. Sheets? A woman like you shouldn't hide herself in a sheets. This is what I think of a sheets. <laughs> A woman like you shouldn't hide herself in a sheets. This is what I think of a sheets. <laughs> well, I think I'll just go to sleep, then. Yes, I shall too. Good night. Good night. Intriguing that you don't hit on me, actually. Right. Yes. 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 Makes you quite alluring. Does it really? Uh, Ronan, <laughs> I just hate to ask this because it's such an embarrassing. But <laughs> look out! <laughs> Careful! <laughs> I can't be that bad that you try to kill yourself. <laughs> Shrewd as you are, you'll have realised by now, this isn't one of those programmes which gives you incisive advice about your health. Or tells you how to increase your life expectancy. Oh, I'm sure this show will make the next 20 minutes seem like an age. <laughs> In fact, I can tell you something useful on the subject of diet. Now, these next examples will show you, not only should you never appear with animals or children, you should give food a miss as well. Where's my little knife gone? Did I leave it on there? Sorry, my darling. It take your knife, run that down the middle, all the way down the middle. Yeah, not through, not cutting right through, but down to the hard bit. You can feel where the knife is, and then cross it like that. Look what I'm doing here. Just across, and then we can scoop that out ever so easily. We're going to dice that up. Look, in with the spoon. Oh dear, look, I just snapped my little <laughs> Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> Just go, go on and enjoy yourself. And don't... I know. Look at any waitresses. If it doesn't have a... I don't see it. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Perhaps they can be persuaded to move out. I've only just moved in. Yeah, I know a few, uh, faces, you see. Oh, forget it. After all, we do live in an approximation of a democracy. <laughs> Robbie, have we made the right decision? Of course, of course. Mm. You don't seem so sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, have we made the right decision? <laughs> Don't go to the same pub as me tonight, I'll tell you. Maybe you're supposed to be working tonight. 
Well, Frank, I'll come away with Frank. Sure. So where you two love birds off to, then? Oh, he's sweating to quiet night in. Well, far be it, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> this is all wrong. This is a kitchen. You're making coffee. This should be happening on a golden beach in Acapulco or a snow-covered ski lodge in San Maurice. And would I still be making coffee? Judy, I'm serious. Yes, I think you are. So, this is a kitchen. Oh! <laughs> This is a sultana, and I can't remember the rest of it. I've done that. Somebody's telling me, just a minute. I've done that, I've What do you mean you've done it? <laughs> this is a sultana and lemon turd... No. <laughs> Heaven knows, I wish I could offer you something more uplifting at this point, but the truth is... When you're unfortunate enough to work for the BBC, you spend a lot of your time trying to forget. And then, when the camera's turning, you can't get out of the habit. Now, I really don't need you doing this at this point of this morning. Look, leave uh, them alone. They are all counted. Oh. <laughs> Last night you were fine. A little lapse of memory. There's nothing wrong with my memory. Yeah. Now, oh, there's something wrong with mine, are there? <laughs> a good mate to me, fella. I won't deny that, but that DL... Forget about him. Forget about... Hmm. Forget about who else must have... <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten who you must forget about. <laughs> the Lord's will be done, Mr. Dowling. It would be very sad if someone else were to uh, come along and do better lines than that. <laughs> Thank you. Alice. Now we're going for a biology lesson, OK? The liver. The liver... <laughs> Careful, Don't sounds very Frank. sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Frank's giving me a funny look as well. The liver is a wonderful thing, as we all know. And it puts up with a lot of... I was going to say rude words, then I'm going to say it again. <laughs> it puts up with a, a lot of stick. Um, it's made up of four lobes. It does a lot of jobs. It sort of dilutes our alcohol for us, it processes our fat, it absorbs our fat, it manufactures proteins, does a lot of things. Now, those four lobes... Oh, I've forgotten what it is, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the regular viewer. God bless you, Mother will know that one man has done more than any other to fill this particular void. Put it this way. There are more mistakes by this man stored here than there are stamps in Jill Dando's passport. <laughs> Single-handedly, this man has ensured that, for me, this show isn't so much a, a television program, more of a pension. <laughs> I speak, of course, of the invaluable, the irreplaceable. John Virgo. OK, Gary, well, you might have seen the shot. Well, you actually didn't see the shot because we didn't do it. Uh, and the reason we didn't do it, because we tried it with a box with the bowls in it. I didn't have the proper tray. Ah, this is the one that they show on Auntie's Bloomers that you take 17 goes to get right. And we never ever got it right. And the problem was it was the wrong... The wrong box. 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 So box. now box. I'm going to come off two cushions, hit that tray and knock the black in. Of course you are. First time. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you, you saw what I was doing, Gary. I didn't want you to work and you didn't know what was going to happen. Oh. All right. <laughs> so it's quite simple. Pot the black. I mean, I can do it a real hard way. Go on, then. No, I can't yes. do it the easy we way. We want to see the hard way round the table. What's on the next show? We've got a couple oh. of hours. Of <laughs> you want to see the hard way? It's only the new producer okay. and the director having heart attacks. They've got to move all the cameras now. This is the hard way, right? Go on, then. Pot the black. This is a, I'll, I'll just show you how easy it is. We're going to try and pot the black <laughs> off two cushions. Mm. Okay? Yeah. 
Okay, here we go. Stand by, Auntie's bloomers. It's as simple as this. You just hit it like that, and it goes. <laughs> Pot the black. Again. <laughs> it's not funny. Doing this in rehearsal, it works every single time. What rehearsal? You're in the pub. <laughs> Did this work, George? <laughs> right, here we go. Pot the black. It's a desperate case, I'm sure you'll agree. But if anything, I have a more alarming example to hand. Alarming because it comes from that highly civilised programme, Call My Bluff. It's a simple show. What can go wrong? And yet, here's proof, if proof were needed, of Wogan's first law of the BBC. If it ain't broke, break it. <laughs> I think it's the rare occurrence. I think it's, 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 it's key. Kate, right, your card please, Kate. No. 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 Which of the two gentlemen, I use the term loosely, is the one with the correct definition? I think. You can't remember. No, I can. <laughs> I think Kate is actually. You're right. Oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, forgive me. I seem a little distracted here, but I, I've come across this disturbing piece of film. Alan Hansen's audition to be the tall half of the Shuckle Brothers. <laughs> Only last week, I happened across a bizarre screen test, which made one question the sanity of the boys and girls above on the sixth floor. Surely anyone could have told them that Jeremy Paxman's generation game doesn't have the ring to it, does it? <laughs> anyone who's ever witnessed Gabby Roslin eating spaghetti will all too readily confirm you see and hear some very strange things around this television centre. <laughs> the best thing you can do is laugh. Mark, are those little blue tablets any better than any of these? Why all the hype? Well, generally speaking, the medications that we use are more effective than the mechanical methods, but there's no evidence that Viagra is any wonder drug. The only problem with these, of course, is that they have to be given into the, into the <laughs> either as a tablet or as an injection. <coughs> <I> don't like... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was going from the start. I was really <laughs> okay. <laughs> now you're Savanicha. <laughs> oh dear, right. Once upon a time in the African desert, 250 million years ago, there were three little lystrosaurs. Mummy Lystrosaur, Daddy Lystrosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Hornets rarely attack people, actually. And what you generally find is that they're much more friendly than bees or wasps. And often, people like to call them the gentle giants of the insect world. <laughs> <laughs> well, earlier today, I spoke to doc Doctor. Do doctor? No, he's not, <laughs> he's not a doctor. Although I need one. <coughs> <laughs> Don't. I'm going to giggle. Well, earlier today I spoke to Barry Hofbauer from. The <laughs> <laughs> earlier I spoke to Bar Gary. Barry. 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 Gary. Barry. It was open for Polish pirates, uh, pilots, I beg your pardon, who settled on the Fylde coast after the Second World War. But now their numbers are dwindling. My apologies to them, and here's Carol Lowe with her report. Some 80,000 troops come here every year to train. 
Today in this mock village, the Royal Marines are on a fibula exercise. That stands for fighting in built up areas. And Bohemian Rhapsody. Scalamouche. Yes, exactly. Let's Lovely. do the Fandango. <laughs> <laughs> instructions to try and ignore them, not to interfere with them in any way at all unless there's a major problem. You try not interfering with something that adorable. I better no, let's come out completely wrong. <laughs> well life here is full of surprises, I must admit. Down the years I've been shaken by some completely unexpected events. That was the time the controller of BBC Radio 2 spoke to me. <laughs> OK, he was only to ask me if I had the home number for Des Liner, but it was a start. <laughs> if there's one lesson I've learned over the long, weary years, it's gird your loins for the unexpected. Evolved an environmental protection enterprise, and until further notice, you are seconded. Hey, um, she told you, did she? I'm making out here some cosy little chap. I know that, son. Look, I overstepped the mark, but someone had to tell her a few home truths. Oh, what, so it's my fault, is it? No, Ricky, no, of course it's not. Well, no, getting all wound up, that's good for the baby, is it? Good. If you let me get the other lines out, we'll find out. Look at these balls on the court. <laughs> We've got hundreds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting in the way! He's getting in the way again! Love it or loathe it, for millions of Britons who travel to the continent each year, the Euro is a... dark around us. You must have been absorbed by your book. Is it a love story? <laughs> Certainly not. It's more about money than anything. And does it say that money is better than anything? I really cannot tell you. I... <coughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> she's not just helping. I think she's got a bottle of pills. You what? She's trying to top herself. Well, together. <laughs> <laughs> Me, mate. Okay, I'll sign off you with that. Thank you. And given the old metropolitan sophistication for which the name of Wogan is famed, the length and breadth of Shepherd's Bush Green, you would never guess. I once did a screen test to present animal magic. <laughs> the animal magic it was. They brought on an animal and I disappeared. <laughs> you might think that's a pathetic, cowardly way to behave and you'd be right. But better that than the shocking, terrifying, or just plain damp experiences which lie in wait when you enter the world where all creatures grunt and smell. 
Darwin has been living in happy anonymity at the zoo since 1972, but his keeper has every confidence that he'll rise. <laughs> I thought we were friends. Ah, come on, smiley, smiley, smiley. <laughs> There's a horse! There's a f***ing horse! If you've been one of the regular viewers of Etsy in practice, then you might remember that I'm not used to horses. This is Buster, and Buster is one of these animals that quite a few people... They... Ow! It's my horse! In my hand. Dolly the sheep is already a legend in her own field. The first of a flock. <laughs> it can be, yes. Um, it takes quite a lot to learn it, but once you've sort of got the hang of it, it can be quite easy. I mean, it's really, really neat, isn't it? And you've used a bit of straw down there yes, as well. Yeah. Is that just to give it some some stiffness? Yes. It's, yeah. It helps to keep the hair in as well. Yeah, that's right. Do you use it in your own plat? No, <laughs> I'm um, Let me have a feel of this. It's really, really, really dense, isn't yes, it? Yeah, yes, awesome. yeah, yeah, absolutely wonderful. <laughs> the Agriculture Minister has announced millions of pounds of aid for farmers who say their industry is in crisis. But some say it's too little, too late. We'll have more on... <laughs> on the mask and see the transformation Jim Carrey and Cameron Diaz head the cast in our film next on BBC One.